Hey, it's Drew Benner from BenSpark.com, and today I'm actually in California, and I am with my friends James and Heather. Hi. And we are at the taco stand. We, we're going to go in and we're going to have some awesome tacos. They tell me about these tacos, and we're going to go in and have some tacos. Uh, James is from Mantripping.com, and also MenWhoBlog.com, yep. and Heather's from ChickVacations.com. And, uh, you know, just great to get a chance to spend a little time with them out here in California. And let's go in and get some tacos. Uh, so this is what I decided to get from the taco stand. Four tacos, some corn on the cob. James got this giant thing. Uh, it's insane. Heather got a couple of tacos and some corn on the cob as well. I'm gonna try that very hot habanero uh, salsa. They got a salsa bar and all that. Cool stuff. And the first one I'm having is the uh, is has cactus, um, the Nepal. And I am tearing through this. I didn't I didn't think I was gonna like that. I wasn't sure. Very good though. All right, next I'm going to try the carne asada taco with this spicy habanero salsa. And maybe a little squeeze or two or lime. All right, taco number three, the Al Pastor. It's a pork-based taco. Looks interesting. All right, I still have some room. So I am going to have the Sonora taco, which has like, oh, like a fried cheese. Oh, it looks, it looks awesome. If I have to move, I'll just come back. Yeah, I'll just take it real quick. What's this called? Pacific Beach. Pacific Beach. Okay. Probably going to get a lot of wind sound here right now, but I'm at Pacific Beach, and look at those cottages out there on the pier, and driving around with James and Heather, and they said, people come to San Diego, but they don't ever go to the beach. So... This is a couple people at the beach. One guy lives there. Uh, so we are driving out here to, we drove out here to uh, Fiesta Island. Yep. Okay, so we stopped at Fiesta Island. Uh, it's a little interesting. I'll show you some stuff there uh, on the, out, out the out the windshield. But we stopped for a minute because I wanted you guys to, to meet James and Heather and uh, learn more about them uh, and their sites. Oh, sorry, Heather. You're back there and <laughs> I'll get you to. Uh, and so, James, can you tell me more about, because I we, we met years ago through like a Sears thing. Yeah, uh, so like it, you, in you, you were, the, you were this, this cool dad blogger guy that honestly at the time was like, okay, I got 400 women bloggers. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, that's a family friendly time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't worry, you know what? I don't think there's a lot of kids watching, so don't worry okay. about it. So, holy shoot, golly gee, uh, there's a dad blogger. And, uh, you know, it was kind of fun to include somebody who wasn't a mom blogger in campaigns. And just as disclosure, I love my mom blogger friends as well. But diversity is good, different viewpoints are good. And, uh, you know, just from that time on, just kind of, I liked hanging out with you, Drew. You're a cool guy. You, you know, definitely think differently than, than many other people. And that's been, uh, that's been fun to, to explore. And, uh, gosh, it's been what? It's been 10 plus years? Yeah, yeah. It's been 10 plus years. And, like, well, three years ago, we were at Isaiah Fest together. Yeah. And, uh, and then Doing last a beer exchange. Year, yeah, we did a beer exchange. <laughs> Those were good. Uh, was it Narragansett? Uh, yeah. What was the donut? It was uh, Ali's Donuts. Ali's Donuts. Narrag and that, Ali's Donuts is one of those places where they, they make donut cakes. Do you guys have the donut cakes out here? No. Uh, they make for birthdays. They make a donut cake. It's a birthday cake made out of donuts. That it's sounds delicious. Amazing. Why did you bring that in your suitcase? Uh, I couldn't fit it. That, <laughs> that would not have kept as well as the beer. The TSA so. guy would have been like, uh, "Excuse me, sir. Yeah, no, I'm taking like, that for my dinner. Yeah, there's there, there's liquid in that. We're gonna take that out. So, but you run uh, a site called Man Tripping, and we went on a, a trip last year to Joshua Tree. So, uh, tell me a little bit about, more about man tripping. So, man tripping is a men's uh, travel and lifestyle site. Uh, a lot of the men's lifestyle topics that other people cover, I, I do as well. Uh, gear, food, drinks, 
uh, relationships, and a lot of it ladders up into travel. So I enjoy doing uh, doing different trips where I'm using a, a phone, for instance, or we're going someplace and I'm drinking a beer that's local to the place, or you know, wearing the jeans, uh, you know, because they're comfortable on a uh, on an airplane, a long airplane flight. I think that way you get better context for what actually is versus uh, kind of being like, hey, it's a review and here's my 200 words and a couple pictures. Uh, I, I like authenticity. I like showing stuff in context, and I like having fun. Yeah, you have a lot of. You are everywhere. I I look at you on on Facebook and on Instagram, and you're everywhere. So you're man tripping on Twitter and on Instagram, Instagram and, and Facebook and YouTube and everywhere. So I am I am Mr. Worldwide. Pitbull yeah. has nothing on me. <laughs> and yeah, you you've got upcoming awesome trips like to the Ukraine and and here in the U.S. to, to like Montana. And I just came it's back amazing. from Arkansas. We had some barbecue and. Oh, the Johnny Cash's birth, nice. birth, 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 not birth, birth, boyhood home. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the fun thing is exploring new stuff. I, mean, I, I love a fancy hotel. I mean, who doesn't like staying in the four-star? Actually, your, your hotel, the Marriott Marquis, is a beautiful hotel. It's really nice. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, it's fun seeing stuff that nobody else has seen. Yeah. Cool. Just, and... like, just like last year in the Joshua Tree. Yeah, well, uh, seeing seeing the stars at night, and then when we were there, we were there with Mazda, and we were doing these night shots, and I remember running back and forth behind the, the car so that we could get this, this <laughs> light thing, this crazy light thing, uh, so that, that was a lot of fun. I'll have to, you know what, I'll put a card in there so you guys can see that video from last year. And uh, don't don't forget know. the uh, the sunrise shots. Oh yeah, so, sunrise so, shots. So just to let you guys know how how crazy this guy is. Well, first of all, Drew, you you are responsible for starting a very expensive hobby with me because since <laughs> since that time, I had to buy a new camera, I had to buy new lenses, I've had to go out to different places for night sky photography. That's a different story. <laughs> but uh, you know, we'd, we'd wake up and I'd you know start cooking breakfast or whatever it was, and like, where's Drew? Is he still asleep? And then a few minutes later, I see him crawling down off of a mountain. This guy was crawling up to the top of a, of a you know pile of like a huge pile of rocks, just to get the awesome shot. So, I, and I you know I said earlier how you like to think differently. Yeah. Well, you definitely you go out there and you, and you find the stuff that uh, that's different, but it's it's worth it because your your photos were amazing last year. Or how I Thank thought you. that there was a um, coyote or something. What? Because he was walking. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> the crazy thing is, is that that on that trip, I had just gotten off a weekend of, of work, and I work overnight. And when I got there, I woke up at like four in the morning, thinking it was almost time for, or three or four in the morning. It was a crazy early time in the morning. I didn't even know. And then you guys actually did have to wake me up. Uh, because I went back to sleep till like eight or nine o'clock in the morning because <laughs> I was up at three wandering around thinking the sunset, the sunrise is going to happen in, you know, 20 minutes. And I'm just out there in the wood, <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the desert at night. Uh, yeah. So it's, you know, so and now Heather, you, you have your, your, um, chick vacations, right? Yes. All right, cool. And so a lot of the, um, a lot of things just from the, the woman's perspective, right? Yeah, so, it originally started as, um, you know, women traveling with other women, okay. um, friends, having fun. Now I kind of just focus on travel from a woman's perspective. Cool. More so. Yeah, a lot of things I never got to do when I was younger, so yeah. now I'm doing it all. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, then you guys showed me around um, San Diego some cool stuff, and we had those great tacos, uh, which you just saw before this, and uh, had a lot of great fun with you guys. It's always cool to catch up with you when I get to come out here, which has been twice this year, and I, I don't know, maybe again in the future here or in uh, New England when you guys tour New England. And, and next time we'll see if we get some better weather for you. I mean, it's bitter cold here. <laughs> Jeez, I love that. It's bitter cold, and like, yeah. It's, right. it's getting a little bit warmer right now. It's, it's up to 60, well, actually 65 degrees because we're in the sun. But this morning when I talked to Drew, it was, it was uh, a little overcast. It was pretty, chilly. It was this chilly. Morning. It was like 58 degrees. <laughs> oh boy, I I can't even. I can't even. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So we're doing some kite surfing here on Fiesta Island. Kite boarding, kite surfing. Uh, on Actually, it looks like they're just flying the kite for the moment. They're not actually on there. No surfing happening. But Fiesta Island, pretty interesting looking place. It's a big boy kite. <laughs> California 
California thing, taking a VW Bug, making it into a photo booth. That's so much fun. Penguins hanging out in the boy. So here is our bruschetta. Very nice. This is our meat and cheese plate. I couldn't tell you what is on here because they told me twice and I still can't remember. I know that that is blue cheese, but that's about it. Here is my dinner. It is chicken fried quail on a duck fat waffle with a maple mustard. And I also got a side of boar bacon over there. Oh, that looks just amazing. Really good to eat. So, all these different paintings all over the place. This one's pretty cool. This place is called the Lion Share, and they've got some awesome paintings. Just fun, fun things and interesting things and weird, cool things. Walking down around San Diego, we just finished eating back there at the Lion Share. Great food. I had the uh, quail, chicken fried quail with a duck fat waffle and maple uh, maple mustard. It's awesome. Anyway, this is the end of the night. We are we're heading back. Well, I'll talk. I'll introduce you to all the other PBS VIPs tomorrow. But uh, this is Drew Bennett from Benspark.com. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Benspark at Facebook.com slash I'm not a famous blogger. And you can always find me making videos every day. Thanks for watching.